Hello there, I'm Barry Robinson and I'm giving you a very warm welcome to Scarborough and it's the Armed Forces Day. Thousands of people here as usual and it's a beautiful day. Oh, oh you can't beat Scarborough. I've now been joined by Matt Nightingale. You did the commentary of the Tucano. I did, yes. Tell me all about it. So the Tucano is uh, the aircraft we use in the Royal Air Force and the Royal Navy for basic fast jet flying training. Uh, we take students who have been selected to fly fast jets and we prepare them to fly a faster aeroplane before they move on to a real fast jet such as the Hawk T2 aircraft at Tarif Valley. Is this easy to fly? For people who have flown it for a few years, yes, it's a wonderful aeroplane to fly. For those who are new to quite a powerful propeller-driven aeroplane, then there's a lot of forces to overcome, uh, and they certainly have to learn a few lessons before they get finessed at flying the aeroplane. But it's a great aeroplane to teach people on, because you teach them these, these lessons early, and by the time they've had a few hours on the aircraft, they're becoming very advanced pilots. So how long does it take once you get onto a propeller aircraft to go onto a jet? So the course on Tucano is uh, about 100 hours long for a student. Uh, within those 100 hours they'll fly about 30 hours on their own, so just to go and consolidate their own training. Uh, and after those 100 hours they've done about 70 hours previous uh, during elementary flying training. So with a total of 150 to 170 hours they'll move on to the Hawk T2 at Valley. So yeah. it can take approximately two years to get those two courses complete. 2019, I'm now with Simon Baldry. Now, Simon, you've got a magnificent machine behind you. What is it? It's an Elvis Spartan. Uh, it's a personnel carrier, so a fast reconnaissance vehicle. So tell me all about it. Um, they're currently one of the uh, one of the world's fastest tanks. Um, they're capable of a thick end of 50 mile an hour, maybe a little bit more. Um, they weigh about eight tons. Uh, powered by our ones are powered by a Jaguar petrol engine, uh, same as in the E-Type and the XKs, that kind of thing. V12? No, no, straight six. Straight six. Four point two. Yeah. Only little ones. They're yeah. not quite so heavy, you see. Made of aluminium. Um, and yeah, designed to get you in where you need to be. Do what you got to do and get the hell out of there. And you say it's aluminium, but will it stop a bullet? It will indeed. Yeah. Only small ones and they're... Um, well, it looks like it will, but yeah. you never know with aluminium, do you? In some places, it's about three inches thick, so oh, it's quite, right. a, yeah. Yeah, quite a piece of kit. So <laughs> why have you got it? Uh, I've got a company that does driving experiences, so we do various things across the country at events similar to today, uh, but usually we're moving with people in the back, so we do passenger rides. Um, we've got one upcoming at, uh, at Whitby for their war weekend. You can come and have a go and learn how to drive a tank. Well, I was going to say, how easy is it to drive? It's, yes, easy peasy. There's, there's kind of three things to do, really. You've got a throttle pedal, two sticks and a set of gears, and what could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> right, so have you got a website? Uh, yes, www.challenger1.com. Well, it's great to see you. Thanks for having a chat. And you. Thank you very much. Right, I've now come over to the National Gulf Veterans and Family Association stand. Now, Ian Siddall. Tell me all about the National Gulf Veterans and Families Association. It was originally set up to follow the first Gulf because of the problems the lads were having coming back. Uh, it's been established since 1999. It's based in Hull, but we're a national charity, cover the whole of the UK and overseas. And we're here to raise funds on behalf of those veterans who are really forgotten. So what problems do they have and how can you help them? Well, we uh, help them with their tribunals, looking at their war pensions, we give them advice on where they can get help with their benefits. We help with the benefits, the way the benefits have changed over the years. Medical advice with the way they've changed in their circumstances, both mentally and physical. We help in various ways. Yeah. Do you have a website? We do, www.ngvfa.org.uk. As always, it's been a great day, a wonderful day here in Scarborough at the Armed Forces Day. But remember, make a note of your diary. Next year, 2020, it's going to be the National Armed Forces Day held right here in Scarborough. Oh, I can't wait for that. I'm Barry Robinson here for Scarborough TV News.